game last night, baseball gripping as well. Uh, every pitch mattered. Every important moment mattered. That's what we expected. That's playoff baseball. That's the, the, the ALCS. Uh, the Rangers just executed flawlessly. I mean, it's hard to find a, a mistake the Rangers made last night. I mean, the pitchers didn't make any. Uh, didn't leave anything over mm-hmm. the heart of the plate. I, th- I think there were a couple. You know, with they, we have the pitch box now, Rod. You can see where the location of the pitches are, and you can see a bad pitch. And there were I thought Alex Bregman took a couple that he should have because Alex is almost too patient sometimes. But man, the Rangers all night had the Astros swinging at their pitches, um, even even like good pitches on the corners that that you're not going to get great contact mm-hmm. on. Uh, Jordan Montgomery and then the bullpen didn't make many mistakes at all, and then the Rangers took advantage of the Astros' big mistakes. Um, you know the the play that Jose Abreu probably should have made. It hit his glove. He yeah. normally makes that play, goes under his glove. Not only is it a hit for Evan Carter, he takes it takes two because uh, Abreu slowed it down with his glove, and so he takes the second base, and that puts him in scoring position on the Jonah Heim hit, which again wasn't a hard hit, just through the right side, found a hole. And, um, you know, Evan Carter scores because of that, taking advantage of a mistake. And then, um, you know, the, the mis- one of the few mistakes Justin Verlander made was a, was a bad pitch over the heart of the plate to Leody Tavares. He drilled it, home run, that's 2 nothing. And then, obviously, in the eighth inning, the only – because remember, the Astros loaded the bases in the fourth inning, Rod, with the bottom of their order. They had three straight singles. And Martin Maldonado came to the plate with two outs, and uh, Jordan Montgomery pitched out of it. Mm-hmm. They didn't have another hit. Yeah. Uh, the rest of the game. It's crazy. That's it. Wild. They had five hits on the night. That was it. Because um, even in the eighth inning, it was an Altuve walk that put him at first base. And then Bregman gets a hold of one, looked like it could be a, a big moment. And Evan Carter made the play, stole it, and took advantage of a base running error by Jose Altuve to double him off at first. And that was it, man. They extinguished whatever rally that was. And Rangers were locked in, man. They were really good last night. Uh, and if they keep that up, I know they've, they've been playing that way in the playoffs. They're I was going to say, they, now. This is, this, that didn't just happen against the Astros. No. That's been the way they've played the entire postseason, man. But they, they, it feels like Texas OU are one of these you know rivalry games. There's no secrets between these two. Um, they know how to attack one another. Uh, they know the sweet spots. And, and you know it's going to be execution. And uh, Rangers executed at a higher level. and Because part of execution, Rod, is you know not giving up, not making mistakes yourself. But then when your opponent does make even a small mistake, you take advantage Pounce. of it. Yeah. Pounce. Yep. And the Rangers did that to perfection last It was a great baseball game. I know a lot of people don't like 2 nothing pitchers duels, but, man, that was – it's just every pitch. Every, every pitch Everything's matters. magnified. Yeah, everything's magnified. Everything's amplified. Yeah. And like you said, Astros didn't play a terrible game, but the Rangers played damn near a perfect one. They did. And I mean, again, if you go back and watch the pitchers, they didn't make mistakes in the middle of the plate. They had the Astros off balance. I mean, the way that Jordan uh, Montgomery neutralized Jordan Alvarez and struck him out three times because uh, he's been so locked in in this postseason and he's been a Ranger killer, uh, that was that was really impressive. So props to Bruce Bochy and the Rangers. They take game one. Long series. Um, today becomes we very important. We hope it's a though. long series. You know, today's, <laughs> today's very important. We hope it is. Uh, for the Astros fans. But, man, Rangers can, can take a stranglehold on this. But remember, Astros four games under 500 home this year. 20, 20 plus on the road, so they're not going to be afraid to go into Globe Life, and and they played very well in that ballpark in, in this regular season, and since that building opened, so uh, this is going to be a great series. I think that I mean, if this series does not go six or seven games, I'll be shocked. I'll be shocked. But uh, Rangers throw the first punch and land the first punch mm. uh, with some under heralded players yeah. making huge plays, and a lot of times that's how. Remember last year, Jeremy Pena was the MVP oh, of the ALCS yeah, and so the clutch. World Series. Yep, so clutch. That's how it goes, and no one would have picked that when the series began, but. Leody Tavares and uh, Evan Carter, the 21-year-old youngster.